guys, Jamie Caldwell from One Minute Out. You know, I do a lot of NVG training around the world with law enforcement, other government agencies. And the biggest thing I can tell you when you want to get out there under nods and do some training is any training that you do during the day, you can do at night under night vision, all right? So there's nothing really crazy special about training under nods, nothing really unique that you need to do. All right, a couple little things with, if you're gonna shoot a red dot, you can utilize your red dot and be able to see through your nods, or you know, with a white light on your gun, just look up underneath your nods. Once you turn that white light on, you'll be able to see your irons, no problem. All right, so a drill that we're gonna talk about and shoot here today is just a simple shooting and moving drill. All right, we're gonna do this one under nods. This is gonna be utilizing our wall our new PDP and we've got the Aimpoint Acro on here which has night vision settings on it. So I'm gonna dial the settings down so that I can use them under my nods. I'm gonna have the nods down. I don't need a white light for this one because we're just gonna go straight through the nods looking at my red dot and I'm gonna engage the first target from my standing position. As Soon as I engage and eliminate that threat then I'm gonna go ahead and move towards the next threat. So I always like to close with the enemy. I'm gonna move towards that next target and engage it on the move. Now we talk about shooting on the move. What is the trick to that? How do we want to do that? Think about a rally car going through the desert, right? If you look at it, the chassis looks pretty smooth and the wheels are doing all the work. That's exactly what we wanna do. So as I start to move out, I wanna keep my upper body as stable as I can, all right? The pistol stays on the target. Everything here stays lined up, nothing should be moving. And all the movement is happening below my waist. So my knees are the shock absorbers, they're moving, all right? Keeping everything in my upper body still as I step and move, all right? The other thing that we wanna do is kinda, I like to roll on my foot so I'll heel down and then I'll roll along the outside edge of my foot and go off to my toe. That keeps me from having this boom, boom, you know, that, that motion of popping up and down, which can affect your line of vision, all right, and your, and your sight picture. So being as smooth as we can on our feet, all right, and when you're starting out with this, just start off nice and slow, speed will come, all right, but try to absorb all that shock below your waist, nice smooth stepping, all right, and anytime that the sights are lined up on the target, that's when we wanna be pulling the trigger. Try not to get into this habit a lot of people do of once they step, then they fire. All right, if we have a threat out there that we need to deal with, we need to get rounds down range effectively and on target as quickly as we can. We can't wait for that stepping motion to line up with that. So we need to be able to shoot when we're ready to shoot. All right, so for this drill, we'll roll through it under nods with utilizing the aim point acro. Always look when we holster, all right? But there you see, it's pretty simple. This is a drill that I would do during the daytime. It works on movement, works on a lot of different fundamentals, all right? We do the same thing at night. So get out here, train at night, utilize your nods, and cover the same drills that you would during the day. <laughs>